Hello, in this video we'll talk about elastin. Elastin is one of the fibrous protein found in extracellular matrix. Abundantly it is found in skin and connective tissues. Apart from collagen, elastin is the second most important component of the extracellular matrix. And you can see the overall distribution of the elastin. It's quite fibrous in appearance, right? Now, imagine that you have pulled your skin of your hand. And you would see that after you leave, leave it, it would be in shape, right? And this is due to the property of elastin. So, the skin behave in an elastic manner because there is elastin which can resist in any kind of mechanical distortions. If we didn't have elastin, think about what would have happened. So, elastin helps to maintain the skin or other kind of tissues such as lungs which need to relax or expand it helps to maintain the structural integrity so relax so elastin have a relaxed state and it can be stretched to several different conformation so elastin is pretty much like a spring when deformative force are applied on that there could be deformation in this spring but eventually it would be restored so elastin is very important in terms of structural and mechanical aspect probably the loss of elastin fibers is one of the cause of wrinkling and aging in human elastin is encoded by the eln gene which is a pretty big gene and the elastin is now translated and modified in the endoplasmic reticulum. Unlike collagen, elastin does not undergo heavily glycosylation. Now, elastin majorly have glycine and proline residues. Apart from that, it has also lysine which forms cross-link. Unlike collagen, it is not glycosylated and it has very few hydroxyprolines and almost no hydroxylysines. The four lysine groups in the elastin sometimes combine to form a pyrimidium nucleus which is also um, giving the elastic property it is called desmosine actually so lysyl oxide oxidase is the key enzyme which helps to form these kind of structures so let us review the whole process of uh, synthesis and secretion of collagen so it would be encoded by the gene in the nucleus processed in the cytoplasm then moved into endoplasmic reticulum and following the cell secretory pathway the trop tropoelastin is secreted. Now outside the cell there would be lysyl oxidase which can form cross-linking between these tropoelastins and ultimately elastin use a scaffold of fimbrilline and ultimately grow into elastic fibers and this is how we see elastin in our tissues or in our connective tissues so i hope this video was informative if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up but before that let me tell you there are some conditions which is called as elastosis elastosis means that buildup of elastin in our tissue excessive buildup of elastin is also bad not having elastin is bad but excessive elastin is also bad and sometimes it happens after prolonged solar exposure so it is called solar elastosis so, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can uh, access my videos in Unacademy by using my code AP10. You can get a 10% discount. Thank you.